Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how you can take your tablet, I have an iPad 2 here, and walk around your room while you control the computer hooked up to your projector. All wirelessly. Very sick. We have two pieces of software we have to set up. We have to install the remote desktop software onto the computer, and then we have to install the app onto our tablet. I'm going to be showing it with an iPad, but you can use a Android tablet, you can use your phone, you can use an Android phone. Now you're going to be doing a lot of pinching and zooming, but the idea is frees you up. You're not stuck at your computer. You can walk around the room. You can actually set the tablet down in front of a student and let them write on the board. So it kind of gives you this whole little interactive whiteboard. If you don't have one, you just need a projector or a TV hooked up to your desktop computer. To get started, we're gonna control our computer. Now your computer can be Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. And you can control it from a lot of devices. You can control it from tablets such as iPads or Android tablets. You can also control it from Android phones or your iPhone, or you can also control it from Chromebooks. Let's say you have a Chromebook that can flip around to be a tablet. You can control your desktop from that Chromebook and walk around. The idea is you can walk around your classroom and control what's going on on your computer. So let's get this set up. First, you go to remotedesktop.google.com and type it in the address bar. It works better than doing a search for it. Now we get the default remote Chrome remote desktop page and you can, there's access my computer or share my screen. We want to use access my computer because we want to be able to control this machine. This machine, it can be Windows or Mac. It works on both. I'm showing you how to do it on Windows. The process is almost identical on the Mac. Set up remote access. We're going to download. Once this is finished downloading, it automatically changes this to accept and install. So we're going to do that and say yes. Yes, if you've installed any software, you've seen this a million times. Now, you want to give a name for it. This is just the default name. I'm going to leave it at that. You can name it your classroom desktop. You can rename it the room number, whatever you want. Now, it wants a pin of at least six characters, six numbers. And this is to stop somebody else from remoting into your machine even if they get access to your account somewhere. So don't set this to something that people might know. You can check or uncheck to help improve. I'm just gonna uncheck it. And now that bad boy is ready to be controlled. This is my iPad 2. I've already got remote desktop installed, so I'm just gonna tap it. And I'm already signed in with my Google account that's signed into the desktop I'm controlling. So it already shows up. You can have multiple desktops if you're in multiple rooms. But you have to be signed into Chrome on, when you set it up for sharing, you have to be signed into Chrome on your desktop that you want to control with the same account that you're controlling from your device. Now I'm going to enter my super secret pin here. And I can hit remember. Depends on how secure you want to be. I'm not going to hit remember for right now. And now I'm connected. It's kind of weird trying to control it because you have to do different pushes to do things and see it doesn't really let you control things very well. So what I usually do is click the three lines and then go to trackpad mode. This will put a mouse pointer, there it is. So once the mouse pointer, once you turn on that, we'll switch it back to touch mode. Once you turn it back on trackpad mode, you have that mouse pointer and the whole thing acts like your trackpad. So as I move my finger around, it's going to move that mouse pointer. So let me zoom back out so you can see the whole. So I can go to different websites. I can do a search here and underneath the three line menu, that's where you can bring up the keyboard. So I can type. And then I have to use the three line keyboard to hide the keyboard, three line menu to hide the keyboard again. But now I have the Mouse pointer, I can move. It works like your trackpad, two fingers, you can scroll. So now I can be walking around wireless and controlling what's up on my screen without being on my computer. It works really, really well. And another nice feature is when you're playing videos, the videos are playing from your desktop, not streaming from your tablet. So it 
there's a lot less hiccups along the way and it just works better. So you can do this with a lot of different portable devices, but the server, the I call it a server, your desktop or your laptop plugged into the projector or the TV screen has to be running Windows or Mac. And that's it for today. Hopefully you got something out of this video and be sure to like this video. Also, visit me over at educate.me. Stay classy.